Okay, we have found the yard art capital of New York, baby. I don't even know where we are. We are in Delphi, New York, in the heart of the Catskill Mountains. And we're going to look at some prices. So I have this exact thing. It's $35. I already got one. So, uh... I'm assuming all of this shit comes from Mexico where you can buy this stuff for one-fourth the price. Alright, let's see. $99. That's just the one that I bought for $79. So, I am jealous. Be a fine addition to Bugs in a Jar Farm. 85 bucks for a butterfly. Oh, Jesus. So I'm going to have to go back to old Mexico this year and load up on the yard art. Forty-five bucks. And that little bitty cow. Oh, boy. They do have some pretty cool shit. We got the goats. And we got the pigs. Alright, the little pigs. Those little pigs are a hundred fucking dollars. <sighs> the foxes. Could easily spend about a hundred thousand dollars here. Two hundred and sixty five dollars for a goat. No shortage of Bigfoots. We have a we have a whole Bigfoot garden here. I guess the Bigfoot roasting marshmallows is not for sale. A whole forest of Bigfoots. been a huge fan of the yard art. No, nope. I just have to go to go to Mexico. How much is the porcupine? One hundred and twenty five dollars for a porcupine. Ah, uh, fuck, we're so fucked. Anything gonna jump out and attack me here. Alright, we got the Texas Longhorn. And we have the Texas Longhorn. I guess the Texas Longhorn is not for sale. How are you today? All right, you got quite the collection. 
<laughs> Do you bring this up from Mexico? Yeah, I'm making a trip down for a for a load this winter, I think. I was sorry I didn't have my truck. Do you paint it or do you buy it painted? It looks like you have some goats and a palm tree down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all part of metal farming on her. Well, it doesn't break. It's a good thing you don't have glass. Well, if it does break, I just shove it out back. There you go. You got that? You need some help with this mess? You need some help standing this tree up? I think it's going to blow over again. They're talking a huge thing blowing in here. Is, is there a particular place in Mexico that's the center of this, or? Not really. If there is, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I was at the Gray Fox Bluegrass Festival and fled. Was it raining here? Uh... No, but they're talking severe, nasty thunderstorms, and I'm supposed to be working the parking lot in detail. My neighbor's here. Oh, really? Well, he does a radio show. I tell you, they're getting a big mess blowing up. Well, you certainly got the eye for the yard art. I could never have enough. I have 14 acres that I need to fill. It's called Bugs in a Jar Farm, so obviously I need some bugs. That's awesome. Uh, man, you got ladybugs, you got ants. I don't know, that's a hermit crab. That's what I that is. I just want to warn you if you pick up a ladybug or a pig, they're going to get you wet. Uh, they, they, they harbor some of the water. <laughs> I call it burping the pig. There you go, burping the pig. All right, well, I got to get back to Ithaca, New York. I just couldn't resist stopping. Is that where you live? Yeah, you know Ithaca? Yeah, my sister's here. Oh, really? I'm south in a little she town called, called Candor.